Hey there, Diane Conklin with CompleteMarketingSystems.com. This is going to sound like a strange question, <laughs> coming from me especially. What is marketing? You know, <laughs> there's so many things now, right? There's content marketing and digital marketing and direct marketing and email marketing and social media marketing. And I'm like, wow, can there really be that many things? Um, it's all marketing. And inside of that, if you always use good direct response principles, then marketing is marketing is marketing. All of the other pieces of it are just the media, right? Email marketing, social media marketing, online marketing, direct mail marketing. It's all just the media that you use while you're doing your marketing, right? So <clears throat> here's the other thing. I, th I hear people talk a lot now about content marketing. It's just, a, it's just a buzzword, right? It's just a buzzword. Um, it's always been content marketing. You've always used content to, to do your marketing, right? Email marketing, there's content in there. Um, inside of a blog, that's content marketing. You, you've always used that. It's just now being called something. And I've always find it, excuse me, I always find it interesting when all of a sudden there's this new buzzword and everybody's like, ooh, I have to do this now, I have to do that now, right? Or they get overwhelmed because it's one more thing to do. It's all just marketing. Now, here's the other interesting thing that you're hearing a lot now is authentic marketing. Um, <laughs> if you're doing it and it's in your voice, how can it be not authentic? How can it be not you? How can it not represent you? Uh, I get what people are saying, right? Just be you, just talk like you would talk, just, you know, n no tricks, none of this, you know, blow them up and, and all that. I get it from that perspective. But here's the thing. If you're just you, most of us are in business because we want to help people, because we want to do the right things. Not because we want to manipulate people, not because we're trying to steal people's money or any of those things. Are there people like that out there? Yeah, there's always going to be a few. Just like sometimes we come across a client who, you know, ends up not being the best client for us. It, it happens. But here's, here's the thing I want to say to you. Stop making all of this so difficult. I would tell you that marketing is everything you do in your business. Everything. From the, the shirt you have on in the video, to the way you wear your hair, to whether you choose to show people, you know, just the business side of you or you show them the personal side of you, whether you talk about um, your story and share things, um, whether you talk about the ups and the downs, whether you show them the good and the bad. But marketing is about giving people an opportunity to do business with you. It's how you answer the phone. It's how you package your products. It's what you say. It's how you put things together. It's the persona, right? It's, it's, it's not your necessarily branding, but it is the way you communicate in order to draw and attract people to you so that you can help them with whatever it is that you do. That's marketing. So whether it's an ad in the newspaper, I know I'm aging myself, um, or in value pack, or an online ad, a Facebook ad, a blog post, you know, a networking event, whatever it is, it's marketing. Anytime that you're saying, hey, I would love for you to check this out, or anytime you're saying, here's a free offer, when you're on a teleseminar or a webinar or a telesummit, when you're at an event, whether you're speaking there or not, you're constantly marketing yourself and you're constantly being marketed to, right? The last I saw, a number, there were over 4,000 messages every day coming to you, marketing messages, right? Talk about clutter and noise. Um, our, our grandparents didn't see that in their lifetimes. We see it in a day. And, and we can talk about, at some point I'll do another video on how to overcome the noise, how to stand out and be the distinctive, you know, have a distinction. But for right now, I really want you to get this. Stop making marketing this, this, ooh thing, this thing that's like, ooh, I'm not really comfortable, what should I say, what should I do, what are the 97 things that I'm supposed to be doing that I'm not, I'm overwhelmed, like I don't have time, marketing, yuck, I don't want to do it. It's everything you're doing anyway. You probably just need to add one or two things to what you're doing to have that next little jump, to have that next little bump, right? Um, 
sometimes it's little things. I had a, I have a client who was recently trying to uh, fill an event that's like four months away, and she was all freaked out because there was a minimum. It was an event somebody else was putting on and she was speaking at that it wasn't going to happen, and she was really looking forward to, to doing it. And so I said to her, look, you have four months. Relax. You have plenty of time. So I gave her four or five things, and I said, here's the things that I would do if I were you. Um, she did them, and I just got an email from her. She did one thing, and she, I just got an email from her yesterday that said, wow, I'm one, uh, one person shy of the minimum, and now my goal, because we're still three months out, now my goal is to max it out, to fill it, right? So sometimes it's just that. It's just one more thing, right? It's, 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 it's what's the next thing that I can do that's going to get a little more attention or that's going to stand out, that's going to be a little different so that people um, take notice, right? That's what marketing is all about, is, is having them take notice so that you can now get your message to them so that they can make a buying decision, right? These are the exact things that we talk about and discuss and that I help you with at the implementation event. And I have another one coming up. Um, I'm so excited about this. This is going to be so much fun. Um, we're going to do so many cool things. But if marketing is something that you're like, mm, you know, Diane, this is your area I'm not really comfortable with, then I'm going to really employ you. I'm going to urge you. I'm going to, if I could reach through the screen and, and, and t get on your computer and type it, go to the implementation event dot com. Check it out. See what other people are saying. If you need help in your business, look, look here's what I know. Come a little closer. You're the bottleneck. Maybe I should come closer. You're the bottleneck. It's you. I can help you overcome that. One or two little things might make all the difference in the world, like it did for my client who's now making more in a week than she's ever made in a month before on a regular, regular basis and taking an extra day off every week to spend with her kids. That's what it's about. That's what we do at the implementation event. We look at what you're doing. We look at your marketing. We make little tweaks. We add something here. We take something out there. We try things and they work and your business changes and that's what it's about. For two days, it's you and about 30 other people in the room and me. And we do, as, as bizarre as this is going to sound, we do what you need. See, I come in with an agenda, but then I'm flexible because the whole point of this is to give you what you need. It's not an event where I go in and say, these are the 12 things we're going to cover. It's an event where I say, tell me what you need. Great. Most of the time I already had it planned to talk about those things, right? But we implement. I give you lots of time to sit in a chair and work on things that you're not doing on your own with me there to help you, with other people at your round table to give you input. It's an amazing experience. Check it out. Implementationevent.com. I'm Diane Conklin. We'll see you next time.